But as always, first, it's time for the nine headlines at nine tonight. Hundreds gather for Janmashtami celebrations in Mathura. COVID norms violated by devotees. Kerala imposes strict night curfew from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. starting today after the festivities during Onam leads to a big spike. Delhi schools for class 9 to 12 to reopen for September, September 1. Surge in COVID cases among children in Punjab and Bihar after the schools reopen. Less than 24 hours to go for a US exit deadline. Taliban leader Akstunda returns to Kandahar. Multiple rockets at Kabul airport intercepted by a missile defense system. Taliban softened their stand on India, call for trade and ties with New Delhi. Top Taliban leader can categorizes India as an important country. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar stands by the Karnal official who gave the break heads order for the farmer's stir as Deputy Chief Minister Dushan Chautala assures action against the officer. Under pressure from the Navjot Sidhu camp, Punjab Congress in charge Harish Rawat now makes a U-turn on Amrinder Singh as the sole face for 2022 polls, says both Captain and Sidhu are faces in the state. Cloud burst in Uttarakhand's Dharchula claims lives of at least five people including three children. NDRF teams now carrying out rescue operations, four people still missing. Enforcement Directorate records the statement of actress Jacqueline Fernandez in the national capital. Actress can quizzed in connection with a money laundering case against Chennai's multi-millionaire conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. And it's raining medals for India at the Tokyo Paralympics after shooter Avni Lakhera javelin throw Sumit Antil bags India's second gold. India has won five out of total seven medals where they were in the race so far.